Hi, beautiful souls. Today, I wish to share a little light on what it means to be a peace pilgrim. What does it mean to be a peace pilgrim? And why is it important for us all to be peace pilgrims in this now? Well, any of you that is following the almighty influxes and changes in cosmic activity will be very aware that things are rapidly accelerating right now. And with this new light, we have great possibilities. And with these great possibilities, we must be responsible for the creations that we are bringing forth into manifestation. So if we want to create a greater, more peaceful, loving, joyful, compassionate, gentle, kind, harmless world, then that is what we must be focused on. That's where we must be walking towards. We must be walking in that direction, very aware not to be in um, or out of alignment with that. Be very, very focused. Oh, I'm creating this. This is what I'm creating. Okay, listen, uh, are everything that I'm doing, every every place where I'm placing my energy, all of the, the things, the, the externals, I say the externals, but like, you know, somebody's saying this to you, somebody's doing this, this television's just come on, this radio's just come on, all of these different factors, okay, because they're all signposts and you don't have to look at those signposts. If you're on a journey, if you're on a pilgrimage and if you're walking towards higher states of consciousness and you're heading in the direction of higher frequencies, more love, more light for the collective good use of unity, for unity consciousness, creating more love and abundance here on this earth plane, you have to be very focused on making sure that that route that you're following is absolutely totally in alignment with that that's in your heart. If you start looking at different signposts and going off piste, you're not going to be actually creating that that you wish you that you wish to bring forth because you're scattering your energy. You've got to be very focused, very concentrated, very determined. And a pilgrimage is normally a physical thing. Normally, you know, we hear of people going on pilgrimages. And I'm just going to show you my beautiful shell. This represents pilgrimage. This to me represents pilgrimage. I have a few of these shells around my room. I have a, a, a pillow or a cushion with this on the cushion. And this represents pilgrimage to me. It's all paths lead to the one. All paths lead to the one. There's not one better path. But some paths might take longer and, you know, obviously the more encouragement that we give one another, then the greater assistance it is like, oh, let me help you. Let me put you in a cart. Let me move you along, you know, if you'd like, of course. So all paths lead to the one. And I just want to say this has got nothing to do with religion. This is not a religious thing. This is about bringing peace to the earth. This is about actually making a journey, a conscious journey to bring forth more love, more light, more peace, more unity, more joy, more abundance, more conscious awareness to this planet for the greatest good of all. Because I think we can all agree that the planet has been misused. The human body has also been misused. And of course, the two cannot be separated. They're very much go hand in hand. What you're putting into your body vehicle is also the same as what you're putting into the earth. And when I say putting into the earth, all that is being discarded, all of the rubbish, all of the litter, all of the toxins, all of the excess that humans have created that then becomes very difficult to decompose, that is the rubbish and the same rubbish that you're putting into your body. And so what I invite you to consider is that if you want more peace and more love and more conscious awareness on the earth plane, not only for the planet, but also for all living beings here upon and within this planet, you must become a peace pilgrim. You must make that pilgrimage within yourself, be traveling in the direction of your highest trajectory in every now moment, aware, aware, listening. What am I aware? What am I listening to? What am I aware of? How am I feeling in this moment? 
taking steps to create more peace, love and joy, being aware of what you're placing within your body. And I say this so many times and I hope that I can say it in so many different ways so that it's completely understandable and coherent so that the message is received with love and with grace and that the dear ones that receive that message with love and grace may consider, hmm, am I walking in the direction that I wish to be walking in? Am I going off peace? Am I getting stirred by other people's uh, stuff? You know, because sometimes people will want you to get on board with what they're creating and what they're creating may not be in alignment with you. I, I, I know dear ones that are still very much getting in the cooking pot and creating uh, dis uh, satisfaction, creating um, disrest, creating umbrage and creating disharmony with their belief systems. And I suggest just let all of the belief systems just fall apart, just let them all go and just consciously move yourself in the direction of peace and love and joy and keep working towards that for your highest good and for the greatest good of all. This is what it means and this is why it's so good if everybody can go into a spiritual journey as such. It doesn't have to be that everybody has the same beliefs, but right now where there's this is accelerated period of, of uh, space, why not use that light for unity? Why not use that light and be conscious and focus on what you wish to create rather than those things that you don't wish to create, those things that bring you unhappiness, distress. How motivated are you? Motivation is a precursor to happiness. If you are not motivated, you will find that you are devoid of sufficient happiness or optimised happiness. So, my dear beloved, beautiful beings, friends, loved ones. Consider what does it mean to be a peace pilgrim? You can make physical journeys. Sometimes we make journeys through our teleportation, moving through the realms, physically transporting our light body to places experiencing what it's like to make those journeys over the mountains. Maybe we do this in dream time, maybe this we do this when we're in our waking meditative state, experiencing what others before us have experienced, speaking to those en route, letting them know what it is that we believe in, sharing our focused, loving, compassionate ideas, creations, sharing what it is that we feel passionate about. What's the point of having a voice if you don't use it? What is the point of, of having ears if you're not listening to what other people have to say? We, we can grow so much if we are able to come to a place of divine neutrality to our hearts, be emotionally calm and relaxed, and listen, what is this person saying? Is there anything in this for me? If not, I respect you. I move on. I send you love. I send you compassion. Not for me. Off you go. Keep being aware. Keep bringing forth the greatest solutions to this beautiful planet. Keep moving as a peace pilgrim in the direction of love and more love, compassionate, expanding that love outwards. And keep focused, keep focused, keep focused on creating that which resonates with your highest trajectory, with alignment with your soul's purpose, your highest purpose, and trust in the way. Big love, enjoy your path. May the path be a 
alight with love, glowing with love and light and radiance and bliss. My name is Zaza and I come to you with a lot of love, peace and thank you very much for watching.